Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the Maya EAS compact clutch and have a look at how the same unit can be delivered with three different torque ranges and how you might be able to change between those three ranges. It's a simple procedure, the first thing you need to do is to remove the locking screw from the front of the clutch that then gives you access to the adjusting nut and that is removed using a tool as so take that all the way off underneath the adjusting nut you will then see what we call a lock washer it's very important that that lock washer is put back in the right orientation we'll put that to one side for now Underneath the lock washer are the cup springs that deliver the torque and these are what we're going to take a look at. Just be careful at this point when removing the cup springs because you don't want the clutch to come completely apart. Put that back on there. So here you will now see in there we have four cup springs and the three ranges that I was talking about are given by changing the number of springs that you have in the clutch. For the lowest torque range you just have one spring, for the medium torque range you have two springs and for the high torque range you have all four. So you choose the torque range that you want, you put the right number of springs in, you saw the way they, they go in, it's important that they go in the right way around, as so, all in the same orientation then as I was saying the lock washer must go with the bevel facing downwards so that it compresses the springs properly when you tighten down the adjusting nut the adjusting nut goes back on then you adjust the adjusting nut with the tool down to a given height or to a specific trip torque that you can measure with a torque wrench. When you've done that, reinsert the lock screw and you've changed the trip torque. 